We're back in a dark room, baby. This is a scary one. That's right, on today's stream, we watched even more of YouTube's creepiest ghost sighting videos. And like always, although there were some we tried to explain and were skeptical about, some of these, I have no idea. They are creepy. So if you do enjoy me trying to debunk anything I can and being creeped out by anything I can't, please feel free to subscribe. I do plenty of ghost sighting and horror content watch parties over on my Twitch. And if for whatever reason you can't catch those streams live, sub to this channel so you never miss them here. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. Let's watch some scurry. Uh, Five on. months? I need to resize Damn. the screen. I made it a bit Five big. months of being a dedicated manifold. Enjoy your yuppie. Thank you. That's five months that you'll never get back, but why would you regret them? I don't know. Wagwan Jack Munchifold, how's my fave munch doing? Can you say something <laughs> insanely diabolical for an edit intro, please, and thank? <laughs> Jack Munchifold. <laughs> World's biggest munch, Jack Munchifold, is like once again listening to Ice Spice. <laughs> Jack Munchafold, that's fucking perfect. I love that. That's good. I want to buy. Uh, there's a shirt I want to buy that just says "World's Biggest Munch." I want to buy that. Either way, I need to say something diabolical for an in, for a, for an edit. So hold on, let me go to a blank screen so they got the full thing. I mean, you tell you what, let me get the lighting light. Let's, let's pop the lights on for this. We got we got to do the the edit intro and then we can watch the ghosts. Hold on. Okay. Here my Breaking Bad shirt, by the way. St. Walter White. Okay. I, I need something along the line of like, Shadow Wizard Money Gang, we love casting spells. Like, I need like that sort of... What should we do? What do we think we should do? We need to, we need, we, we need to be quick, because I want to watch the ghosts. Where do you get that shirt? Italy. A man on the... the uh, just a man on, on, a, on a corner in Italy did it. My fingers aren't little, why would you say it? Start with on today's stream. Fuck you guys. Shadow Wizard Munch Gang. We love munching ghosts. <laughs> Shadow Wizard Munching Gang. We love. <laughs> what? Shadow Wizard Munch Gang. We love listening to Ice Spice. <laughs> Alright, that'll do it. Fuck it, whatever. That'll do, that'll do. Oh. We the best music! God did! Nah, that's, all, that's, that's a DJ Khaled for you in there. Yeah, you got a couple. You got a couple of things you can use. Take your pick. Anyway. The lights are off. The music. By God, it's tense. Don't turn it off again because let's start the first video. <sighs> Get ready, guys. A construction worker is working the graveyard shift <gasps> at a warehouse Sorry. when something very strange is caught on camera. This what? footage was posted by X Alien 97, who works at. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Your fight is on my birthday, so I will wish for you to win. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's already fucking. <laughs> This ghost was spotted by Xbox 360 username. <laughs> Why'd he drop his gamer tag? <laughs> Listen to that shit. This is a real life ghost sighting, supposedly, and he dropped bro's gamer tag. Alien 97. A construction worker is working the graveyard shift at a warehouse when something very strange is caught on camera. Alright, reasonable. This footage was posted by X Alien 97, <laughs> who were. <laughs> How many kills do you think he got in Halo? What's his KD and COD? You know what I mean? Alright. Work security at a construction site where the following chilling incident had taken place. X Alien says that ever since showing this video to the people who work there, employees have been on edge. They fear that they too will experience this terrifying encounter. Well, what was it then? In a very short video, X Alien recounts the events of that night. <laughs> he's dropped the 87. He's dropped the 97, by the way. He's just X Alien now. They're on first name terms. He used to be X Alien 97, but you know, he's like, Mr. No Mr. 97 was my father's name. So I work security at this construction site, right? Yeah. <clears throat> you know, all the trucks. We 
got these real things right here. Yeah, oh yeah, reels of wire. One of these. These things are heavy. Yeah, I Just believe a that. Just backstory, it was a construction worker that he needed help pushing one of these. He says a guy came up to him, another worker, and he says, I got you. Just guide me and I'll push it for you. <clears throat> so I said, okay, cool. So okay, cool. Guiding him, he kept turning him, back it up, back it up, back it up, and he was pushing it. When he was, when they were done, he went around the reel to tell him thank you. And uh, he says that uh, he was gone. What? Now the scariest part about- Okay, so, so far he's just told a scary story. The story is that when the worker had one day gone up to the main office of the building, he noticed a particular memorial photo of the workers who used to work at the company. In this photo, he saw the man who had helped him push the reel. Oh. Eerily, the photo says he had passed away in 2015. Fucking meme fun. Okay. The following is the video of what's believed to be the ghost of the ex-employee caught on camera. Okay, the light, the light's very conveniently placed. That's all I'm gonna say. Like him looking at the camera with his light is a very convenient, oh, mm, oh no. It's a little bit weird. They are quite heavy, but he also seems to stop it with relative ease. But it lines up with the story. Eerily enough, the person who was helping the worker with the reel. His, the, the, the thing that like convinces me a little bit is this is obviously like, it, it, it's obviously like, I was thinking like, what if the security guard watched the security footage and he was like, this is a weird thing. Let me tell a creepy story to sell it online. And, and realistically, this this was just being like rolled down a hill or something, and this he just kind of like only used part of the video or something. But what throws me off of that theory is like the way he gestures as if he's guiding someone is like very unnatural unless you are. Like, it's called momentum, though. No, I agree. But he's he's actively guiding it as if you know. Someone could have pushed it off camera. This no no no. I agree with you. Uh, but I I I agree with you. All those things are completely believable. Um, but I think the, the, the interesting thing is the way he gestures as if someone's actively pushing it. Like, he's communicating with someone. I just think it's weird. It's not natural for someone who isn't talking to someone to, like, do... You know, like, if someone... You know how, like, so, when someone reverses a car? I don't know. Like, a one-degree incline, do that with a low push. I, I agree with you. Not a, not a one-degree... Like, a, a bit of an incline, and I agree that it totally would. But that's a bit weird. The, the, the gesturing's weird. Like, you wouldn't just do that. You know, you wouldn't just do that. It's the prime. Okay, we've seen this bit. Oh. Suddenly disappears. According to the worker, he had walked around to thank the man for helping him, but to his shock, he was no longer there. It's as though he seemingly vanished into thin air. <laughs> nah, he's not lying. X Alien 97 isn't like that. <laughs> you made a fair point. I you will made a be very making the ring soon, Jack. What does that mean? You'll be making the ring soon? What does that mean? Congrats on the ring. Given the story provided by the security Neat. guard, could it be that this worker had encountered the spirit of a deceased ex-employee? Or might there be some logical explanation for this truly odd occurrence? As with most videos, this one has yet to be solved. Now the following video doesn't have much info, as the original source is unknown, but even Tyler, without knowing its origin, the footage is no less scary. The story goes that a man who lives in a village near the Swiss Alps heard strange noises coming from the mountainous region. He decides- What do you say coming like that? He heard strange noises coming. From the mountain regions. He, he did a little pause. 
You hear that? Thank you, the prime, by the way. Near the Swiss Alps, heard strange noises coming from the mountainous. <laughs> Took a little pause after that car. He heard strange noises coming from the region. This he decides to climb the mountain and find the source of these unusual sounds. When he gets to the top, he's immensely frightened by what he sees. This Boost. is the video he took. I would be scared. A Y U P Sun X. <laughs> hey, oh, Dad, thank you for the sub. That's my dad, everyone. He's subbed to me now for how many months is that? Let me find him. Where is he in the list? Where's my dad? Jackie Backy, I am back and I love you. 31 months. Thank you, Dad. And thank you for the four. Ethrio Dally. Oh, wait, no. Erethro throw down. I can't read. Anyway, let's watch. Let's watch this guy. Please take a look. A what? Okay. A weird little figure. That weird little figure there? Okay. Yeah, I see. I see those two figures. Yeah. What am I supposed to make of them, though? The camera's so fucking blurry. I can't work out a thing. What am I supposed to be seeing? They, they look like they're T posing. Someone just spawned into fucking Gmod ragdolls. Weird how they like kind of have the the they, they they are in the shape of people like holding their arms out there. They got the sleeve cloth. Seems to me like that moved. Up. So oh wait, those are physical objects that actually exist. Is that what it's implying? Oh, so those are actually objects. It it we, like the we are supposed to have seen those. I think because he he seems to have accepted that those exist. Then he's like, I it seems like it moved a little. What, like there? Like it opened its arms up? I mean, it looks a bit like it moved maybe, but so fucking blurry. Like why are they so obscured? Like the pole and the ground are pretty like HD. Why are these guys so fucking blurry? The man sees what Something appears like a kitty zoom action cam. Be two giant figures standing in the distance. Even more chilling is the fact that the figures seem to be moving ever so slightly, confirming that they weren't statues, but instead something else entirely. The man believes that these might have been angels or an entity of some sort, as he felt a sense of peace and believed that the figures meant no harm. But I thought you started with it terrified the man. In the start of the story, you're like, what? What he saw? Terrified the man and now he's like he felt at peace because he saw two fucking angels also bro I'm a big fan of biblically accurate angels. That ain't how they look, you know That's just what they paint them like in like art and shit But the Bible does not describe angels looking Yet like when that looking at the video through an infrared lens The figures don't appear to be fake or CGI Whatever had been on top of this mountain seems to have actually been there What What what? What do you mean when, how have you, how have you in post put the video through and, th what? I'm so confused. It meant no harm. Yet when looking at the video through an infrared lens, the figures don't appear to be fake or, or CGI. I don't think it works. I don't think you can run a video you've already filmed through an infrared lens. I don't, that's just like a, that's just like a Snapchat filter. You've just put a Snapchat filter on the video and went, it appears they cannot be CGI. What? What does that mean? I don't think that's how it works. You can detect heat post facto. I don't. I think he's lying. Like you, you could only do this if the camera you were filming with captures infrared. And then you like played back the infrared footage that you captured. But I'm going to hazard a guess 
that the camera that captured this fucking footage, this, this, this three pixels of color cannot capture infrared. I'm just going to hazard a guess. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. I sincerely doubt that it can. I think this is like a Snapchat filter that the man has went, this is real. Look, it can't. DGI. Whatever. Whatever had been on top of this mountain seems to have actually been there. But, like always, you be the judge on whether or not something supernatural Surely the comments have called this out. Honestly, exploit still helping out fellow workers is a ghost kind of wholesome. That's true. I really want to see the infrared. Has anyone called out the infrared lens? Uh... Uh... Has no one? Well. Oh yeah, control F infrared. Good shout. Nope. Doesn't seem like anyone. Well, anyway, let's carry on. Captured. Just what exactly had been on top of this mountain? Yeah, I, I that inf like I I was willing to believe that like the camera quality was just too poor, and this guy had genuinely captured something he thought was paranormal, and it was probably just the poor camera quality that you you know. But but like now that this infrared footage just came out, this is obviously just him like. Trolling. Also, as someone said, how fucking hot is that grass? He's stood on top of Mount fucking Vesuvius, right? He's on an active volcano. Why are the pole and the ground so astronomically warm? This is obvious. Oh, it's like a, it, it, it's a hoax and a shit one at that. Isn't it snow? Even worse, it should be blue then. had been on top of this mountain. This is stupid. Nah, uh, fuck that one. That one's pissed me off. That one's made me like actively mad because I feel like someone's actually tried to lie to me. Maxim Lovebot, thank you for the prime. Hi Jack, on December two 31st months. Of 2022, Hope you are having an awesome evening. Let me put on the Ghost time. I forgot I didn't have them on. These men were dispatched to a house after receiving a call from a neighbor who reported that loud, it's strange noises were coming from inside. The neighbor stated that they heard deep, guttural noises and piercing screeches that were unlike anything they'd ever heard. Mm. When the police arrived, they were deeply disturbed by what they found. On today's stream. Now, oh, video fuck itself. off! Alright? Because Tommy and it turned my VODs channel into a drinking game. What am I supposed to start it with? Every YouTuber has a, an intro, you know? What am I, how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to... You're like, on today's stream... It's perfect. It's good. It's like Will and E's twatty. He's like, this week on the internet. And then he says his thing. Mine's my VODs channel. So on today's stream, you know? It's just a, it's a good formula. Get him back. I'm just going to post a compilation of every time he just went, Ah! As the punchline to a joke. Yeah, there, there. Mm. Yeah, I got him now. I got him good this time, huh? was taken by a paramedic who was immediately called to the scene. As it turns out, the police requested immediate medical care as they were unprepared to deal with the situation at hand. What? They had no idea that the house they were in once belonged to a family of cannibals who <laughs> enjoyed butchering human flesh and making exotic dishes that consisted of human remains. This cannibalistic- What do you mean exotic? I think that's just fucked. Like, you can't call it an exotic dish. Also, by the way, this is wild. Usually it's just like someone saw something kind of weird in their house. No, the police raided a house of ex-cannibals. Well, not ex-cannibals, the ex-house of cannibals. The family has since passed away, but their house still remains in its shabby condition in a small town located in Greater Poland. On the night okay. of New Year's Eve in 2022, a 20-year-old woman named Kanoka had been inside the house with a couple of friends. They were all playing with a Ouija board with the intent of conjuring the spirits of the cannibalistic family and the victims they consumed. This was a That's smart. 
you know? If you really want to piss off some probably... Like, like from what I've always understood of ghosts, from people who, like, believe in them, like, ghosts can't hurt you. The only reason Ouija boards are bad is because you might attract evil spirits. Why would you go out with the intention of attracting arguably some of the most evil things you can think of? Cannibals! That's pretty evil, I think. Well, cannibal murderers, uh, you know. Uh, let, let's stress cannibal murderers is worse than just cannibals, you know? You know. I, I like, you, you know those people that, like, have a plane crash and there's, like, like uh, and they're starving and there's, like, bodies of people who died in the plane crash and they eat them to survive? That's still cannibalism, but you ain't that morally corrupt. You're probably not gonna hurt anyone as a ghost in the afterlife. Murdering people to then eat them, that's a little bit different. You, that's just silly. That, that's just... That's just like, there's food available, bro. You don't, you don't gotta do that. You know? Why are you justifying cannibalism, Lamfout? I'm just saying. You know? There's circumstances. It's why cannibalism isn't illegal in a lot of places. Because there's circumstances under which, like, it's, it's like, like, situations like that where, like, they don't believe someone should be, like, legally prosecuted for having to, you know, eat human flesh to survive. But... Um, the reason most cannibals get arrested is because most means of gaining human flesh to eat are illegal. Like, stealing from, like, morgues, killing people, uh, you know, defiling, like, it's, it's, it, it, most ways of getting the flesh is, is illegal. But, but the actual eating of it is, is perfectly A-OK -okay in the eyes of the law. So there's a fun fact for you. Either way. Bad idea. As all of a sudden, Kamilka began acting erratically and extremely feral before barricading herself inside a room. Something had gone terribly wrong. According oh, to her possessed. friends, Kamilka had seemingly become possessed. When the police came, they were left highly unnerved by what they saw. This is what was caught. <laughs> Loud bang. Growling. <laughs> Cartoon gasp. <laughs> Are you shooting? What? Does she mean like shooting with the camera? I assume she doesn't mean are you actively shooting at the girl? Because... Ah, oh, this lady knows. Guns are, are loud. Guns are loud. They make a loud noise. Even with a silencer, you can hear them. At that distance. Okay. He's got a stick! Bro, preserve... <laughs> <laughs> Bro got a broom to defend himself. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking something on top. Drut ma jakiś. It's v yeah. I, I'm also don't worry. The people with guns have sticks. Yeah, I'm also confused. Like maybe you know what? Like most body cam footage you see is from American police, and this maybe tells you the difference in like the sort of ethics of police forces across the world. But like. If, I feel like if this is America, they'd just go in, guns blazing, and be like, GET DOWN ON THE GROUND! And the second they didn't, because, like, they just shoot them. they just shoot them. Like, they'd just be get shot. I just don't... Terrified by Kamilka's strange behavior, the police are unable to go inside and save her. So, as a final attempt to get her out, they head outside and place a ladder against the side of the room where she hides. This, however, did not go as expected. Why are they communicating with her like she's a fucking dog? Kamilka! Kamilka, come here! I don't... Again, I'm, I'm gonna allow it. 
There you are, you savage. Come here, flower. Don't fucking growl like a pig. What the fuck is he saying? So, like, confused. What the fuck? But obviously, warning for you guys as well. I'm, I'll pause it for a second for anyone who needs to. Needs to do it. <laughs> She has a kid. Bro, I'm, look, I'm not average day in Poland. <laughs> uh, I'm not, like, I'm not, pati I'm, I'm skeptical when it comes to ghosts, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not a definite believer in any, I'm, I believe more nowadays than I used to, but I, I definitely, like, I'm not a believer in ghosts, like, like, strictly. But, I, especially if I had a fucking child, would not go to fucking, like, Supposedly haunted locations fuck around with the Ouija board. Like, it's just like, 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 uh, like, because, like, either you don't believe, so nothing will fucking happen, so what's the point, or you do believe, in which case you fully expect the consequences of, like, getting possessed or some shit. Like, it's just, it's just selfish, bro. <laughs> Is that her? I think this is probably staged though. The police tell Kamilka that her daughter Victoria is with them as an attempt to lure her out of the room, but this didn't seem to work, given Victorious. that she still stayed inside. Unfortunately, not much else is caught on camera as the video ends abruptly, but according to the paramedic who shot the video, Kamilka was eventually taken to the hospital. Strangely enough, it was upon arriving at the hospital that she started acting normal again. After being thoroughly examined by a psychiatrist, Kamilka showed no signs of any psychiatric disorders. Her blood was also checked for any intoxicating substances that could explain her strange behavior, but no traces of any drugs were found in her system. To this day, Kamilka's family nor her friends could explain what happened inside that house. All that is known is that her family wishes to never see their daughter ever like this again. Reasonable. Whether Kamilka was possessed or if she had a temporary psychosis remains a mystery. Or whether this is acting, which is my personal theory, because no, that was way too good to be true, bro. Like, I, I, I personally, right, like. I'm willing to believe some of these videos are like genuinely creepy, but you know when something like this happens, like movie tier, like foot, it, like there's certain things I don't believe exist because like the most paranormal things that I see and believe are like slightly strange happenings that most people have like kind of like if you ask someone if they have a ghost story, most people kind of say. Well, one time this strange thing happened, which I'm not sure was ghosts, but I can't quite explain. And I genuinely believe that, and I think if ghosts genuinely do exist, then that's probably the sort of stretch of their capabilities, right? But, when you get this, like, sort of movie tier shit, uh, that's so drawn out and obvious and impossible to, like, miss at a glance, then I'm like, if this is something that can happen in the world, why is it not constantly fucking filmed? You know what I mean? And then beyond that, this is why... So not only is this girl possessed, right, supposedly, and, and acting all feral, which fucking impressive acting from her, by the way. The growling and all that's very, very convincing and creepy. I, I don't believe the police are acting like police officers would in this situation. Like, like, this isn't how the police act. I, I believe these are men in police costumes. Like, in my experience of, like, seeing any video of the police ever, they would just charge in there and try and overpower her. She's one growling young woman, and they are four armed, fully grown men. Realistically, they would just charge in there, use force, and arrest her. Because they can do that. 
Why did they film it? Also, yes, why is the paramedic who's on hand and on duty filming also very weird? You know? I just... And then the strobe lighting, like, that's just... That that just seems like... like that That's just rich, you know? Not in Poland, bro. Polish police literally say they don't get... Everyone... Okay. So a lot of people are saying... <laughs> a lot of viewers in the chat are saying... Poland is very Catholic and they would be afraid of demons. That, okay. You know what? Reasonable point. Poland is a very Catholic place. That's true. That's true. I will give you that. Why is her head so big? It did seem quite big. I'll give you that. She did seem to have a big head. Room. Police tell Kamilka that- eh, it's not unreasonable though. That's a head. That's a hair. It's not unreasonable. I, I'm still of the of I, I'm still of the belief that this is acting, but I will give you that the police's behavior is slightly more credible given the sort of like yeah the, like Poland is a very religious place. I will give you that. I will give you that. Someone said, "Don't worry, it's because she found out what sex is." <laughs> Are you trying to imply that this woman was screaming like that because? Um, I just want to make sure that you, you are implying to me that you truly believe that this woman screamed like that because of this. You're trying to imply that that happened in real life. So bad that the police and the paramedics had to be called. That's what you're trying to imply to, imply to me? I just want to make sure that is, you know that her daughter Victoria's with them as an attempt to lure her out of the room. But this didn't seem to work, given that she still stayed inside. Unfortunately, oh, inside their home Seems remains a mystery. Creepy, creepy, very well made. Like, I'll be honest, genuinely quite anxiety inducing the screams and, and, and the way she's acting and stuff. It's good, it's well made. I don't think it's real. I don't think it's real. In a previous video, I talked about a family in India who's been documenting unusual events inside their home. The family has seen more than just a couple of things move on their own, but also other small incidents that seem to hint at something way bigger and perhaps dangerous. Oh From my god, where'd he go? Being suddenly infested with hundreds of maggots, Ugh. which appeared out of nowhere as they played holy music throughout the house, to occasionally hearing the pitter-patter of invisible footsteps late at night, the family can't help but think that a curse has been placed on their home. They believe that ever since letting go of the maid who took care of them, strange things have been happening. The maid, according to them, the maid, is then? responsible for the strange activity. Although having seen some crazy things, it's the most recent occurrence of strange activity. Although having seen some crazy things, that's weird. It's the most recent occurrence that's by far the strangest. Uh, uh, they, they seem weird. It's late at night when the family is woken up by mysterious noises. This is what was caught. Okay. A noble man. I respect that. No, mama. You take care of mommy. Daddy will come soon. Oh, bless. Camera blur. I'm just saying, guys. You know, when the camera blurred last time, you know what happened. Okay. Someone been trying to look for snacks in their Bro, cupboards. Someone, get over there. What? Yeah. Okay, reasonable. You could have, you could accidentally miss that.
Alright. Nothing too crazy so far. It does seem like something's been through here and trashed it, but again... There will be a cover, get out. This has also all happened off camera, so, so far, as far as I know, you could do that. Bro was starving. It's just a hungry ghost. It's just a fucking hungry, hungry ghost. Thanks for the subs, by the way. Really appreciate it. Back. Mysteriously, a mess has been made throughout the house. Yeah, but, but most nothing. Chilling of all is the video of how it all happened. Oh, which was captured by the security camera inside their living room. Ah, take a look. Okay, now I'm intrigued. Okay, I'm looking. Again. Hold on. Okay. that again hold on made throughout the house but most chilling of all is the video of how it all happened which was captured by the security camera inside their living room take a look i'd be skeptical but that cupboard at the start is the one that's most convincing to me and the bike actually now looking at it that's odd then the cups fall Well, it's worth noting, I won't say it yet. Yeah. Yeah. This... <laughs> it's hard because this wouldn't be impossible to edit, but it would be very hard. But I also don't doubt the effort some people would go to. Like, move your camera. Oh, you guys can't see the bike. Sorry, let me let me shift. So I'm gonna cover the cups now. Let me show you the bike. That one's also pretty convincing. The, the reason I say this one's more convincing than others is because, so these two, the, the, the cups that fall from here and this, the direction they are supposedly pushed from is off camera, right? So when the cups fall, sorry, um, they're like pushed out like this, which means that Say somehow you managed to hide someone behind, you know, the fridge here or whatever, they can shove the cups. Right? Problem solved. Someone around the corner. The bike, however, if I swap back to this, I don't see where that could have been pushed from without us seeing a body part. Even though it's pushed from a direction that's like almost off camera, it's, you know, strings. So I, so, okay, let, let, let's, let's, let's do string theory for a second. Not the, the physics one, just like theory of strings. So that, so fishing wire. I get, I can now see the bike because there's someone hiding behind here, say potentially. They're behind this wall. So they're far enough along that they can push this thing over at the end. Like, you, you, that, that gets pushed over at the end, right? So say they're hiding, like, behind this wall, like, over to the side. They can push that, and equally, with the direction that that falls in, you could easily run a wire and do that. And that's the cups. You could easily have a wire from there to there and pull that. I believe that. Equally, the cups. You could, you could, you could have someone there and do the cups. I don't know how someone with a wire would open... I've skipped all the way back, fuck. I don't know how someone with a wire would open the cupboard. That's what I'm confused about. I don't know how someone... The bike was pulled, not pushed. Again! Believable. It 
It's in reverse. Okay. That'd be quite easy to edit. I believe that. I can believe that. Because what you could do is ju film this separately. Because it's a static camera, right? Which a static camera angle makes things really easy to fake. Because um, you can basically just record the empty room. And then use like... Uh, masking and like tracking to track out someone who's in the room quite easily and you can do it pretty convincingly as well uh, so yeah say someone like pulled that open with a string but where would they be but even if they're just a little bit off camera then mm, it's doable there's a whole corner of the room we can't see it's doable but it is still weird I'm given this it's still weird like, I, like, that's a lot of effort to go to to fake it. I'm, I, I'm just saying. I'm just not. You can't write off that this one's faked because I could. I, I think I could feasibly pull off faking this. But you know, there's more to this clip than I do to fake. Let's skip it along. So that falls over. Okay. Naturally, the family was left unnerved, but they were left even more so by an incident that took place only a few days later. It's past midnight when this is captured. Prime. 22 months, long time manifold, lot of love. Thank you. Is there anything move there or not? Danny G, thank you for the prime. Colon <laughs> closing parenthesis. Weird noise. It sounds like footsteps, like, like running a little, little kid. <laughs> Okay. Again, could be editing there. <laughs> Especially because those two sound almost identical sound bites. sound like the same sound bite almost dead on you know what we can we can verify this like really quite quickly actually I, I i'm down to do this did i okay we can we can we can really quickly verify this all right you, you want, let's go reddit investigate mode hold on let's put on some spooky music All right, Reddit investigator moment. Actually, let, let's put on Professor Layton music that's like more. Uh, Professor Layton, let's listen to. Okay. I've got a theory. All right. Let me download Audacity really quick onto this PC. It's my investigative music. Okay. Cool. Audacity's open. All right, let's download this as well. Cool. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. What we have to do, we're gonna download the video as an MP3 file. We're gonna look for this part of the video and we're gonna listen to those two exact sound bites. If the sound waves look almost identical, Pretty much, because there will be some slight background noises that might affect them. But if they're pretty much identical, 
then I'm gonna suspect that it's the same soundbite. Also, yes, when they when they move the camera, the sound does sound like it's in the same place. Also worth noting. Okay. Alright, we've got the file. We've got Audacity. Hold on. Alright, let's get it open. Alright, we're here. We're in Audacity. Actually, I need to go down here, really. Alright, what we need to do... Hold on, actually, let me, before I leak all the files on this computer... PC was getting mad that it didn't want me to investigate this. It didn't want a Reddit investigator on this case. Alright, cool. 16 minutes in. Okay. Actually, let's not do that. Okay. Okay. Around 16 minutes. How do you zoom in? We need to zoom in. How do we, how do I, okay, I guess we're gonna have to do it with, no, that's playback speed. I wanna, just, I wanna zoom in, here we go. Okay. Okay. Now let's work out whether this is the first or the. Please stay outside, please. Oh wait. Okay. Please stay, please stay outside, please. Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right. Wait. I'm gonna give credit. They look different. They look different. They look different. They're a little bit different. The pattern's roughly the same. It's like do 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 do. do. <laughs> but equally, it's kind of disrupted by him going Hoo! at the end. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's hard to say for definite, but. It's hard to say for definite. I don't know. Because he, he, you see, he breathes here, so it's like, it's hard to say. Because the thing is, the rough pattern is the same. Slightly smaller, slightly bigger, and then decreasing. And it's kind of the same. It only gets bigger at the end here because he goes, huh! and it gets bigger in the middle here because he breathes. So it's kind of... <laughs> They do sound really similar. Overlap them and see how they sound. Good shout, actually. It's a good idea. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. They might sound the same. <laughs> there is no, there isn't much discernible difference between those two. Let's grab the, there's a, there's like a third one like here, I think. <laughs> Harder to determine that one because they've put like the background noise on. But let's say that's about right. Let's do one more. Oh. <laughs> they all sound shockingly similar. Turn it slower to hear it better. All right, let's, let's slide on the playback. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, I, I did normal playback. I'm gonna mute this.
this one because it's really hard to line up. Let's just do the first two because they're, they're lined up like pretty much perfectly. <laughs> I think they're the same. I'm pretty sure that's the same. Thank you for gifting yourself to Quackity, by the way. There's no... Let's play that one more time. There's no difference. They're the exact same. We got him with his lazy fucking editing. Don't get lazy with me, bitch. I'll figure it out. Lazy! Lazy! If you're gonna try and prank me, at least be consistent. But you know what gets me? You know what really gets me? Because, like... The thing is, as much as I've acknowledged that this could be edited, you know, this footage here... Right? It's hard to fake. It's a lot of effort. How can you not be bothered to go to the effort... Of using a, like, re-recording your soundbite just a bit. That's got me mad. Because it's the same. Okay, runs again, so, uh, anyway, let's carry on watching. They probably thought we would be convinced by now. Similar to a previous incident experienced by the family, the sound of small footsteps are heard running about without a trace. Now given that the family has experienced this before, the family is not as scared or faced as when they first encountered this. It would be the following incident, however, that changes that. Only a few nights More? later, this was captured. Right, what happens? I was unable to scream here, that's what I said. What? His shadow doesn't line up with his movement, does it? Or do you Does he move his arm? I'm just trying to work out, like, it, what happens there? Like, a, a bit of his shadow flies out, but, like, his arm... Doesn't appear that he moves. Just weird, I don't know. Whatever. I, that, that seems weird. Your camera's in the way? Oh, of course. Sorry, let me switch back to... Let me... Let me, let me just, like, it just seems weird. Like, w watch. What happens there? Like, his shadow does a little thing, but he doesn't? Not that I can tell, anyway. It's just a bit odd. His fingers get caught. I think his fingers get caught in the flashlight. Oh, it's his fingers. Yeah, well done. Well done, guys. You were right. It was his fingers. It was his fingers. It was his fingers. Good fucking eye. Good eye, chat. Okay, 
it turns the light on. It makes a fucking nasty noise for some reason. Don't like that noise. Why is he shaking like that? Is he just scared? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Bro sat down. No, you didn't even fall, man. He made the fucking phasmophobia death noise as well, the fucking... <sighs> I mean, can I just verify something? What is the sound... Okay. I was double checking it wasn't the sound of Foxy running from FNAF because it honestly sounded similar to me and I was like, surely not. Surely he wouldn't... Hello? Please? Hi. Um, I'm like, surely he wouldn't use the fucking Foxy like running sound. That's <laughs> silly. The convenient like camera freeze as he hits the ground with like no real hard force. Yeah, okay, never mind. We, did, we didn't even need to do the fucking Reddit investigation bit in Audacity. We should have just seen that this was fake. Jesus Christ. Twenty-one months WTF. Twenty-one! Hello. Can you... Sub for me. Okay. The father is seemingly pushed by an unseen force. He quickly falls over while seeming a bit disoriented Obviously as he tries his best ass. to figure out what just happened. It is only seconds later that he realizes that something had touched him. He was quaking in his... He was just quaking over here. You know what? He, just didn't... he wasn't even in his boots. He wasn't even shaking in his boots. He didn't have boots on. Shaking in... Just shaking with the dogs out. He was just quaking with the dogs out, you know? His timbers were shivered. While the family continues to document these chilling occurrences, Viewers continue to suggest that they move out of the house as soon as possible. The family does plan on doing that, but it won't be anytime soon, as they have to make certain arrangements before doing so. Unfortunately, for and now, also it's fake the family well. has to endure whatever strange occurrence is thrown at them. Just like before, there have yet to be more updates on the situation of this family. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. Or if you're just that a fucking sense. liar! Or if you're just a liar! Also an option. Just saying. Since that guy decided he was gonna lie. But either way. I'm beyond it, alright? At the end of the day, you know, fool a couple idiots for YouTube views. Not me. I'm not the fool. And neither are you guys. You know? As long as it's not my people, I don't really care. However, there is something I must subject my people to right now, and that is... 15 months, let's go. The top of the hour ad! People, people, people. You know how it works on this stream. I have to, contractually, run. Here, Jack. Have some ramen money. Thank you for the ramen money. I really appreciate it. Either way, I have to run one minute worth of ads at the top of the hour, every hour, on this stream. And it's been the first hour. Now, it is only one singular minute. That is 60 seconds of time. Please, go get a drink of water. Go take, have a little pee break. Go say hi to your mum. I don't care. Just please, the camera's out of focus. Please, just watch the ad. That's all I care about. The only way... I will allow you not to watch the ad as if you subscribe right now, just like LaserJet did for the low, low price of 4.99, or for free with Twitch Prime. That way, you will miss all the ads for the next 30 days. You'll have to watch a single ad 
Hassan Kinney, someone just donated five pounds today. Absolutely. Hello, I stole this idea when I lived with him for a bit. CEO of Manifold Legal and Professional Boxer. Those are I my was titles. about to purchase a sub, but I got donated one, so I decided to double the contribution. Oh, thank you. P.S. Did you already play the last part of Fears to Fathom? I don't know if I missed it. We died. I never. Pl I don't think I ever. Pl I never played it to live, but I died. Either way, guys, the ad starts in ten seconds. I'm broke though. It's fine. If you're broke, if you can't afford it, it doesn't matter. It's one minute of your time, and it supports me a lot, so I really do appreciate it. Either way, the ad is running. It's about to start any second. Seriously, it supports me a lot. I don't care if you can't solve it. it doesn't matter. Like I don't care. I appreciate it if you can. If you can't, the ad supports me a lot. That's all I'm saying. Either way, I'm just gonna be talking to the subs in the meantime. So enjoy your ad. It's starting any second now. Sunny Sock 69. Whoa. Thank you so much for the yep, tier one. Yep, 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 Thank you for the 17, 17 months. months exploding head. Yippee! Thank you so much. Boom, ba, boom, 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 boom. I actually just do dancing. I lied about talking to the subs. Stone Core, thank you for the tier one. Get a big goofy grin for 15 months. I hope that was the grin you needed. That feels like it's going to become a Twitter prick picture. That one felt horrific. I'll be honest. That one felt really the warm bad. ground is all the little bugs having a party. Don't judge. What? What? Thank you for the sub. <laughs> that one was traumatizing. That one felt bad. That, I, I could feel in my face that that one was a bad one. You know? I'm just capable of it, man. I don't know what to tell you. Gene DePayne. Thank you for the, for the sub. Appreciate it. Where's my water? I need a little bit of, I need a little bit of H2O. Oi, 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 oi. Thought I had a fucking notification on my phone that said Tinder. I'm like, I don't have Tinder installed. Twitter. I got like, I felt like I was catching myself cheating. You know what I mean? I was like, I don't do those things. I don't do those things. It was Twitter. Hey, welcome back from the ad. How is everybody doing? Hope you enjoyed your ad. Welcome. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching it. It really does mean a lot. Either way, before we move back into the videos, I actually have a story I want to tell you. So as you all know, as you can tell by the fact that I'm in her house, I have a girlfriend. Now, as I mentioned when I announced that I had a girlfriend, the main reason I wanted Good to man. be honest and public about the fact that I had a girlfriend is because I wanted to be able to talk freely about experiences I have in life whilst having a girlfriend. Now. Well, now. one month streak, I'm crazy. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the prime. You're pretty crazy. Either way. Either way. I like speaking about, you know, things that go off in my life. And one of the things I've learned about having a girlfriend is you learn a lot about how you sleep. That's what I've learned. You learn a hell of a lot about how you sleep, right? So, like, uh, apparently, I, I clench my jaw and grind my teeth really bad, which makes sense. That's why I've got this tr a tremendous jawline, because I'm just, like, all the time working them muscles. That's one thing. Apparently, I also twitch a lot as I'm falling asleep. I start just jolting like this, which apparently is a man thing. Apparently, a lot of dudes do this. But, I also, um, if, if my, my, my dear girlfriend wakes me up in the morning, which she does, because she, she, um, she usually wakes up a lot earlier than me. Um, if she wakes me up in the morning, generally, uh, if she tries talking to me and I'm, like, still half asleep, I'll, I won't answer, I won't answer, like, coherently. I'll get my words muddled up and stuff. Like, one time when I, like... D okay, no, I, 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 there's too much context for that one. But either way, I, I spent like 10 minutes on the story and it isn't worth it. It's not that funny. But either way, the, the, the one I wanted to tell you about, it happened the other day. And I genuinely believe I'm possibly the only person on Earth to ever do that. So. Hello? Hi. Either way. Either way. Apparently the other morning, I, I'd kind of half woken up and then fallen back to sleep and started dreaming. Because I, I, the only time I ever dream and remember it is when I wake up and then I fall back to sleep. And then I have quite vivid dreams. Which is, again, normal. But I woke up and I fell back to sleep. 
and then I started laughing in my sleep and I woke myself up laughing. Or, or either I was laughing in my sleep and Ellie woke me up saying, why are you laughing, right? So I was, I was hysterically laughing. And luckily, in the instant I woke up, I could still remember what had made me laugh. And I, this is genuinely real. I vividly still remember this. I woke myself up laughing because I had dreamed up a Family Guy skit. I had just dreamed up a Family Guy cutaway gag that I found so funny, I started hysterically laughing out loud and I woke myself up. Do you want to know the Family Guy skit? Because I perfectly remember it. In this Family Guy skit, they were, ha they were having a big Quahog boat race. Right? And then, Tom Tucker, he's in, he's in the news chopper. He says, and here is the British boat. The British, of course, being subtle as always. You know, basically talking about British class and how they're subtle. And then it cuts the boat. And the boat is a, what looks to be a yellow submarine like the Beatles. It has two Stewies on it for some reason because he's British. And the, the, the ship is a big banner proudly sporting its name. Oi fucking bollocks. And it was just like the most obnoxiously British boat. And they'd said it was subtle. And I found this to be insanely funny. And I woke myself up laughing at how hilarious this imaginary Family Guy cutaway gag was that I had I had made up. I my brain created a Family Guy skit that I found funny. <laughs> so um if anyone wants to animate that in the Family Guy style, I can vividly picture the sort of shot, the top down, sort of from the side angle, like from the helicopter shot of the boat. If anyone wants to recreate that with some voice actors, then feel free. I give you my full consent. Either way, thank you for all the donors. Thank you for watching the sub, uh, the, the 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 ads even. <laughs> let's get straight back into a. Uh, let's get straight back into watching scary clips. I fucking TikTok's gotten so bad. I dream Family Guy funny moments. Slay. Slay what you wanna slay, and let the slay slout. Slay so Hi, Baldy. Anyway, sorry. My bad. Let's carry on watching. Let's get back to the video. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Number two. Marcos Garcia is the owner of a small car shop that is currently operated by just one mechanic. Okay. This mechanic is the only employee at this workshop. Okay. And it was just recently that he received a car from a customer who needed repairs on the vehicle. Is the prime Ever car. since receiving this Ever. car, though, strange things have been happening around the place. Both the business owner and the mechanic... Mm, okay, and the, the, this is going to come off harsh, and it, it's in no way, me way meant to be. I'm already skeptical because the guy... Has Crazy. Question manifold. Months. Ever played any rhythm games? I love rhythm Cheeky games. Cheeky smiley I love things. Osu, Guitar Hero, Clown Hero, uh, uh, Friday Night Funking. Uh, I've got the Hatsune Miku one on my phone, whatever that's called. I love it. Either way, I'll, I'll turn it up. Let's, let's turn it up a little bit. Either way, I'm already a little bit skeptical because of like, I'm not skeptical in a way where I think this is like necessarily faked. More just like, I I think if you experience something slightly scary, and your first instinct is to start praying, like y your brain is in like it, it, you strike me as someone who is likely to call upon supernatural sort of explanations to things before you would consider other things. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, if, if I experience something supernatural. My instinct is to go, what could that have been that I understand? And then maybe in the last resort, when I cannot physically explain it, then I'll go, okay, it's supernatural. But if you quickly just, you know, if you just see something weird and you start doing this, I don't have you down as, as skeptical enough, you know? Whatever though, it's no big deal. I'll accept my cyber life, thank you for the 22 months. Thank you for all the subs today, by the way. You guys are sending through like tons. Oh, I missed the sex number. My bad. My bad. Panic. Believe oh. that there's something quite mysterious about this car. 
They right. don't know what it is, but they have a slight suspicion that it might be Let's the see. reason as to why Jack, unexplainable things have been happening recently. that one stream you recently. kept smiling, I was about to renew my sub, but you ended. Oh, sorry. Anyway, almost one, one year, Mr. Mods. Manifold. Dab, dab. Anyway, haha, ha, less than dabs. three. Thank you, appreciate it. It's amazing to tell them. This vehicle, according to them, scares them. <laughs> Although scary feeling car. creeped out by the car's presence, scary car, scary they don't car. Think much of it <gasps> and carry on with their daily assignments. But then one day, a very peculiar incident is Crystal, caught on camera. Marcos, the business owner, is watching over the shop through a security camera when he notices the mechanic acting very strange. The old man was moving in such a way that it made him feel very unsettled. <laughs> but when the mechanic just shaking his head. I woke back up to resub to my bald man. Oh, I, I am appreciate so it. Thank tired. You. Goodbye. Oh, good night. Thank you for the sub. Mechanic was asked as to what he was doing. He replied that he was talking to the client who had dropped off the creepy car. Marcos, though, found this very unusual. The video Marcos had seen tells a different story. This is what he saw. Okay. Wait, the one sort of your logo. <laughs> Just fucking calls him crazy. <laughs> First second of him talking, he's like, he's local. He's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> Straight away, immediate, immediate, no consideration for anything. He's local. I can't, uh, you know, what can I say? He's local. <laughs> calls him fucking crazy. Estoy revisando por la cámara. Hay que consigue mi teléfono con la Tony, por favor. Pero con quién habla, weón? ¿Aló? Oye, disculpa, pero con quién, con quién está hablando? Con Don Carlos, el que me está haciendo, pasando el presupuesto y explicando el tema de la gente que tuvo anoche que perder en la carretera. Oh, yeah. Good story. Guy has an accident last night on the highway. Shows up as a ghost. It's a good story, right? I don't know. I'm just... You can hear the other voice too, can you? I don't, I don't think I can. Good story though, like, like, yeah, dude, dude crashes on the highway, drops his car off at the shop, oh shit, wait, he died in the crash, he's a ghost. Oye, oye, cálmate, 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 que don Carlos, pero, oye, escúchame, escúchame un poquito, tú me estás hablando, tú me estás hablando del accidente anoche? Claro. Juan, me estáis hueyando, ¿cierto? Oye, podéis su podéis subir. ¿Sabéis qué? Oye, no, es que no estáis hablando con nadie, viejo. No estás hablando con nadie, Juan, y ayer los que chocaron murieron todos. Yeah, the com no, the way the conversation flows doesn't flow right. I, Juan no está Again, I'm I'm now skeptical. I now think I don't think he's loco. I think it's just faked. Con nadie, sube y ven a ver las cámaras. Tengo todo it lines up with the fact that ghosts have just thought to go on about their lives normally because they don't know. Ghosts are like, oh man, my car is total, let's get it to the shop. I agree, like, it, it fits that narrative, but I think it's, like, almost perfect. You know? Like, it, it feels too good to be true. The way- the, the combo is a bit weird. The way he goes, like, relax, relax, relax. He didn't seem like he was panicking. I don't know, just seemed a bit odd. Oh, Thank you for all the subs coming through, by the way. I really do appreciate it. Sube viejo, sube, vente al tiro, vente al tiro, vente al tiro. Si estáis sin no estás con nadie, weón. Viejo, no te estoy, te estoy, tengo grabado, vente por favor. Vente. Hassan Kinney. 
Confused and slightly unsettled by the old man's behavior, Marcos immediately calls him to ask what exactly is happening. To his shock, the mechanic replies that Carlos, the client who had dropped off the car days ago, was visiting him to discuss details about his car and a racing accident that occurred the night before. Marcos was chilled to his core. Hearing him- Now I'm confused. Two scary ghosts, Jay. <laughs> I'm now confused. So, so he's not, he's all, so he's dropped off his car already and then he's went and gotten a crash in another car? Cause it said like, it said he dropped his car a few days ago. He immediately calls him to ask what exactly is happening. To a shock, the mechanic replies that Carlos, the client who had dropped off the car days ago, was visiting him to discuss details. So he dropped the cars to car about his days car ago. and a racing accident that occurred the night before. So now I'm confused. Marcos was chilled to his core. Hearing him <laughs> mention the racing accident from last night was beyond strange. As it turns out. Carlos, the client, had passed away in a terrible street racing accident the night before. The mechanic had not been aware of this incident until recently. So he has two cars. So he has two cars. He's dropped one of them off at the shop. And then he... He dies in a racing accident. But he comes back, or he could have been a passerby, whatever. He dies in this car accident regardless. Whether he's a passenger or whatever, he dies in the car accident. And he goes back to the shop. By foot? Like, I know he's a ghost, but you know. And he, to ask about his car. But he's dead. Okay. The question is though, how exactly did he come to learn about this news? Could it be that the alleged spirit of Carlos had paid the mechanic a visit? Is the so-called haunted car responsible for this? Or is this simply a case of someone be? who's become slightly unhinged from doing too much work at the shop? <laughs> Just like- Ah, yeah. No, overworking as a mechanic will cause you to imagine human beings and talk Marcos, to them. That, that happens. viewers believe that, that something supernatural was caught on camera. Is that it? That's it? Oh, that's just obviously fucking fake then. Michelle A. and her small family live in a suburban home in Long Island, New York. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, 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 it, that just seemed fake, bro. I, when I saw the video of him doing that, I figured there was gonna be more. Never mind. I don't think. I don't think it's a scary car. I don't think it's a, it's a spooky car. I, I think it's just a car. I think. It's, yeah. Honestly, honestly, if there's a genuine motoring accident, in, which is reported by the news, in which a guy died. It sounds to me like, in a slightly fucked up way, one of their clients died in a car crash and they staged this video like, off the back of his death. Just a thought. Both she and her husband are happily raising four children while simultaneously running a traveling petting zoo. Although living- I don't know. I don't want to accuse- I don't want to accuse people of that because ultimately, like, that's fucked up. It's it's worth noting that it's a possibility, I guess. A busy lifestyle. Michelle and her husband always make sure to prioritize. Her I, I husband. Sorry, it's too busy talking. Michelle A and her small family live in a suburban home in Long Island, New York. Both she and her husband are happily raising four children while simultaneously running a traveling petting zoo. That's cute. Although living a busy lifestyle, Michelle and her husband always make sure to prioritize the needs of their children. <laughs> why did they use that video? Why did, why did, why did they use the video of a kid eating shit? That kid ate shit, bro. Why did they use that? Four children while simultaneously running a traveling <laughs> petting zoo. Although living a busy lifestyle, Michelle and her husband always make sure to prioritize the needs of their children. Given how much Michelle says, <laughs> slowing it fucking down. They even slow mo it like a little bit. Always make sure to prioritize the needs of their children. <laughs> it, sl it slows down as she hits the ground. <laughs> She always prioritizes the needs of her children as she stands by idly filming her child fall over and eat shit. Given how much they care for their safety, they install- Oh yeah, no, no, they really care for the safety of those kids! Call a nanny cam inside their baby daughter's bedroom. 
Especially that one, clearly. looking over at the baby monitor, God something almighty. downright spooky is caught on camera. She blinks. Michelle says that her baby daughter typically sleeps through the night, and if she were to wake up, she would usually cry out for her mother. But on this night, something unexpected happens. Watch. Hi. That or maybe the, uh, the, the, the wheel of wire. That's also kind of weird. I don't know how to explain that one quite. Michelle says that her daughter appears to be pointing at something in the dark. What's even more odd is that her baby daughter was laughing and pointing at something. For Actually, no, even the first one's explainable. Sorry to cut it off, but like, I was saying how it was kind of weird because like, the, the thing rolls towards him as he gestures, but say someone pushed it off camera and it is intentionally staged, then he's just acting. I was just going under the theory that the guy who posted the video is the security guard and therefore possibly wouldn't have interacted with the staff. So I was like, if it's fake, it will be him like telling a story about a video. Like, you, you know what I mean? This is the only one that seems real. For about an hour or so. Imaginary friend. I think she's too young to have imaginary friends. though. I mean, that's like an infant child. It's not necessarily paranormal, but it's the one I find most believable because you do hear a lot of stories about how kids... Kids with like strange, like imaginary friends, you know. I'm I'm most inclined to believe this video out of all of them, but it's also like the least like creepy. I guess. So before going back to sleep, it's because of this clip that Michelle thinks that her daughter has encountered something paranormal. According to her, her daughter was seeing something that we couldn't. Maybe whatever it was that her daughter was seeing, Michelle hopes that it was nothing serious or anything that should be a cause for concern. I like, I, like, a friend of mine's little sister did this all the time. She would, like, talk about, like, seeing, like, people and stuff. And the mum was convinced that she saw ghosts. There is, like, a lot of people who suggest that, like, if ghosts are real, kids are more susceptible to seeing them. But also, like, eh, It's not crazy. Who knows as to whether or not her daughter had actually seen something that night. But like always, let me know what you think. Right, Thanks for this one. Okay, so let me just break this one down. First one could potentially be weird because the security guard potentially would not have, have met these guys if he's just watching back footage. And it's weird that he would post on his TikTok a video that, you know, I'm not saying it's out of the question. Uh, if he did just find this video, then it is weird because, like, those things are hard to push, they are heavy. And it just rolling towards him as he gestures. And then him saying that the picture he saw of the dead employee looks like the guy he saw is weird. But like, it's not, you know, all right. The ghost of an ex-employee still helping out with work. Kind of based. Seems like a chill dude. But equally easily faked if someone just pushes it off camera and, you know, I don't know. The most interesting video is the mountain. No, this one's fake too, bro. The infrared shit. The, I, I, I was willing to believe that this was a bit weird, albeit the weird camera quality. And so this shitty infrared film. The man believe the Like that's but, not like, how infrared works. Whatever had been that's just not what infrared looks like. So, or, so this one is obviously like a bit of a hoax. This is, I think just acting the one in Poland. It just seems too good to be true. Um, there's nothing here that couldn't just be acting, you know? Like, it's just a girl acting weird. Um, we, we worked out that the, the, the one in India was almost certainly faked because of the fucking sound bite. Uh, number two is probably fake. Honestly, everything here is... F basically, I think everything here is really easily faked and likely to be faked, uh, apart from this one, which is potentially just a baby being weird, but also could be a baby seeing something maybe paranormal. I'm being cynical today, I'll be honest, but... Like, I all, I, I, you, if you've watched me do these streams before, I always apply quite a heavy level of skepticism to all of these videos. All of these are just really easy to explain. I'm going to be honest. 
Like, I just think these are really, really easy to explain. You know? I don't know. Question everything. Exactly. Like, we've uh, we've seen stuff on this channel that is much harder to explain. That has actually made me go, hmm. You know? The most convincing one we've ever seen is that shadow figure that was filmed on that fucking, like, Nokia, like, ancient fucking phone. It's like someone's walking around a haunted place. They just scan past and there's, like, a shadow figure. And when they scan past again, it's gone. And it was filmed on, like, such an old phone. The video was still on the phone, so it couldn't have been edited. They were, like, filming their phone with, like... It would have been so hard to edit and track that video onto the phone that it was like, that one was like, oh, that's weird. That that was weird. Like, we, there's been there's been some weird ones. Like, th this one, I'm not, this video, I'm not too convinced by. Everyone asked me to watch Sam and Colby. I've never watched Sam and Colby before. I know of the guys, don't get me wrong. But I have, I, I've genuinely never sat down and like, watched one of their videos. They are also an hour long an hour! Holy shit! I didn't realize they made videos that are an hour long. My god, they bang views! Holy shit! Now nah, that's crazy. An hour?! The Conjuring House one is pretty spooky. I kind of want to watch it, but also like... Those videos are half an hour and they took me an hour. They're like, usually it takes me triple the time a video runs to watch the video. I've never watched this before. But the problem is, again, as I said, it usually takes me triple the time a video runs to watch it. Uh, I, don't have, I don't have another three hours in me for stream. Hmm. Tell you what. 1.5 We might watch them. Tell you what, let's see. Let's watch another one of these ones and then okay, I think true. next time we do one of these streams Next time we do one of these streams We'll do a Sam and Colby, but I just need to be prepared. I didn't prepare three hours today If I prep three hours, we'll watch Sam and Colby. We'll do a different stream. We'll do a different stream. Absolutely We'll do a different stream, but um, I, I didn't prep three hours today. Well, I want to watch the Wilbur and George one because I've never watched it um, But yeah today today no because it, even with this one Say it gets too late, I could just cut the compilation. The, the, you know, the, the, the things are short. I'm intrigued by this. Also, version 66. One more six, and this could be scary. So. On September 8th of 2022, a video was uploaded online that many viewers are finding hard to explain. Also, before we start a new video, thank you to PianoMan6069 for the year. Uh, 10 months, let's go. There's been like a shit ton of subs that I just haven't had a chance to thank yet because I've had the, the things pause while I talk. Um, but thank you to... Clouded Conscience, Bird Spores, uh, Galax MC, Illumida, Jazz Butter, Cryptid, uh, and then there's a few that are big long messages. Tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. Let's let's do this. I'll catch us up. Okay. Thank you to uh, Marco, Marco Magpies for the three months who said, "Hey Jack, quick question: What uh, do you do if you kiss your best friend? What? What do you do if you kiss your best friend first love and your best friend won't talk to you now? By the way, I'm drunk, so sorry if this is too much." Uh, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't kiss your friend's first love, I don't think. That's kind of bad. You should profusely apologize. They may never speak to you again. I, I'm i sorry to be the bearer of bad news while you're drunk, but like, they, they, there's a good chance they won't talk to you again, and they, they're well within their rights to do that, to be fair. I, I don't think you should do that again, is my advice. You know... Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's much you can do now, but 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 apologize, and even then, it might not cut it, you know. So, uh, yeah. Um, playing FNAF Roblox with my friends and said, and sorry if we die. I need to resub to Jack Manifold. I have priorities. It's very base. Thank you, Lara. Leave the prime. Uh, Alex said, uh, for for twenty two months. Thank you. Uh, they, they said, I choose to believe in ghosts just because the only other explanation for stuff that happens in my house is that there is a real person living in my attic. I'd rather have a haunted house TBH. That is fair and reasonable. Uh, Glutheus Maximus, thank you for the um, 10 months. Watch I dye my hair. Um, uh, like a neon piss yellow. Really yellow. No one ever has yellow hair. They're always blonde. And like kids will call that yellow hair. It's not yellow, it's blonde. I want you to go yellow. Hello Kitty, standing with the Prime. 666. Wow, that's evil. 
and love love you Lynn. He was a prime. He was a the video is anything but ordinary. It was posted by Izbetarelli, who states that she Does she look like Pokemon? Uh, at first glance, I was like, Pokemon? And and like it obviously isn't Pokemon, like I, I can tell, but do they do they share resemblance? No, yes. Not the hair, just like like the eyes. Mainly the eyes. I think it's just the eyes. They have similar eyes. I think they just have similar eyes. Like the way they've done the eyeliner, just also the like, just similar eyes. I think. Ah. Uh, just for a second, I was like, "Twenty twenty-two. A video was uploaded online that many viewers are finding hard to explain. The video is anything but ordinary. It was posted by Izbetarelli, who states that she didn't record the video herself, but instead someone else had filmed." Yeah, I think it's just similar makeup. Similar makeup and like... Uh, maybe yeah. just similar makeup. The footage was later sent to her and was eventually posted online for everyone else to see. Similar to Isbet's reaction, viewers were left terrified by the footage. Oh, it's late at night, somewhere in Peru, when suddenly Hello? two friends encounter something pretty are. disturbing. This is their video. Okay. Hit me with it. Oh, what the fuck? No, 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 no Turn them into gymnasts and shit. Making them like do the fucking crab pose. Like every, like, every possessed motherfucker will do this. Right? Can you see? I don't know if you'll be able to see me if I do this. Every possessed motherfucker will be like. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> you just, li you can't even remotely see me. I'm not turning on the lights just to demonstrate that. Actually, yeah, I am. No! But fuck, I turned on the lights right as the battery died. Hold on. Put a new battery in the camera. So I've got Mac DeMarco stuck in my head. Hello! It's me! Mark I'm not doing a Mark Plan intro. Put you on there. Ah Okay. Let me let me stop you in the place. Okay, so you know you notice how demons be putting people in like this pose? Let me put this battery back on charge. Like they, they be making them do this. Like You know, I can't do it. I'm not flexible at all. Um and my muscles ache from boxing training this week. So I've changed my mind. Let's turn that back off. <laughs> Sincerely, don't worry. Boop. Cool. Yoga hour. Yeah, I don't, I don't do that. It's the dog from the back rooms. I don't know what you're talking about. Walter. Oh yeah, it's my Walter White shirt. It's St. Walter White. I still need to watch Breaking Bad, by the way. I'm still not done, but, you know, whatever. Buffer fold soon. SOON! SOON! NOW, BABY! <laughs> God, we did that. Anyway. Kept their distance from whoever, or whatever this was. It stands on all fours, while moving its head in a manner that's very unusual. It's weird. It's weird. It's, it's a being weird way to Being paralyzed with fear, both friends stay in place as they continue to observe the strange being. Although it's not clear as to what this was, viewers believe that it might have been a skinwalker or some other supernatural being. Yeah. Or just like their friend acting kind of silly goofy. Or their friend acting silly goofy for a video so they could scare other people. The lack of info on this video makes it likely that we'll never know for sure what this was. Their so friend then, acting silly goofy, the I would guess. actually captured something supernatural. That all they're possessed and they in that demon pose, you know? Why do demons be putting people in that pose? That's what I want to know. You get possessed and the demon instantly is just... Like, what is their, like, 
like obsession with like folding the body in weird ways. You know, people get if I was pos- if I possessed someone and I'm a demon, I make them walk normal so no one would suspect me, and then I'd carry out my misdeeds. I wouldn't start going yeah and start like convulsing. Then everyone fucking knows I'm a demon. Everyone knows, you know. But I was like, yeah, you know, you know, I'm like that, that. That's you know what I mean. I'm just saying, like, or demons be dumb, man. Something else caught. Silly goofy movement. Seven. God, there's a lot of clips in this one. This is only five. A woman is alone at home when her dogs all of a sudden start acting strange. Oh, I think we've seen this woman's house. It was only after looking back at her footage that she realized the reason that why they were acting post seen, consist of we, we, We've seen, we've seen a lot of the updates from that lady. She, it, shit falls over in her house. They, they do see the most real clips, as of yet. Appears in her back. in such a supernatural. Oh no! Wait, this isn't. Start acting what I strange. It was. Okay, let's watch this one actually. It was only after looking back at her footage that she realized the reason as to this is an older one. Why they were acting watch. odd. Doubtless. The footage has left her disturbed. Let's watch it again. Now, before showing the video, it's worth noting that the person in this clip has been featured in a previous video before. Laura Combs. She's been featured in like three videos. She she's like fucked, you know. And the thing is, her clips to me feel the most convincing. Has been documenting strange activity in her house, and it was that's just fucking hard to fake. Look, like, I can't think of a reasonable Laura way. Laura Combs has been documenting strange activity in her house. And it was just because like or Laura Combs has been documenting strange activity in her house. She, the, the top book goes first and then the other books go. You couldn't just do that with one string. You know what I mean? Like I just it's weird. And it was just recently that she caught something that has left her even more baffled than before. The following is her video. I just I find her videos the most convincing. What's this little sofa that they've got away from the big sofa? Why why have they decided they want to sit like three inches away from the TV? You got a sofa over here and you're like, nah, we gotta sit close. We gotta get real close to the TV to see it, you know? For gaming? The gaming sofa, perhaps. Oh wait, wait, no, I think you're right. That looks like they're on an Xbox actually. They're, those are the games. That's like this. I think actually you're right. I, I actually unironically believe that is the gaming sofa. It's the fact that it's all the dogs. No, I agree. That's what I mean. The dogs react weird. Like, the, the shit falling is really quite hard to fake when you think about it, the way it falls. Is that the shadow of the tree? Like, no, it didn't. Yeah. Slenderman? Ah, oh, yeah, it's Marble Hornets. These ones are weird. Strangely enough, Around the same time her dogs start to act up, a mysterious figure appears in her backyard. However, there is something very odd about this figure. It moves very It moves quick. in such a way that seems to suggest it's something other than a human. Laura it believes that it fast. might be a supernatural entity, considering all that's happened in her home and the strange behavior exhibited by her dogs. Now viewers also agree, but it's not certain- <laughs> Don't know why. It's fucking him saying strange behavior exhibited by our dogs, and I was like, I was like, ah, oh, he means feet. I'm like, what strange behavior could feet do that I could turn into a joke, and I just couldn't think of one. But know that I found it quite funny for a moment. And if that's the case, given what's happened, could it be that Laura's dogs were sensing a supernatural <laughs> presence? <laughs> there it is. A fucking toes start curling. She's like, I think there's a ghost around. I can feel it in my dogs. So I was getting like a fucking tingling in her toes. She's got that ghost tingle. It's like her spider sense where she gets like a tingling in her toes whenever there's a supernatural being. Which happened to be outside. Or 
Might there be another explanation for this odd occurrence? Feel free to let me know what you think down below. These these videos are weird. These her, hers are weird. Like, like, I don't know how to explain hers. Hers creep me out. Her house actually. There's a podcast like a on honest. YouTube by the name of Twisted Chamber, whose hosts consist of two people, Natasha and Kat. I can see that. A few years ago, they received a strange video from a friend of theirs, who still, to this day, has no idea as to what was captured in it. Okay. They were deeply unsettled by the footage and are looking for answers to explain what was captured. Okay. The story goes that the friend was visiting her sick daughter at the hospital late at night when out of nowhere, something downright creepy is oh, caught in the background. They were sure that nobody else was around as they were the only ones on this floor. Needless to say, the video is pretty creepy. What's everyone saying Rambo? Is he in chat or are people just saying it? Why is everyone saying Rambo? What? Creepy. The what? This is what they caught. <laughs> you lot in chat taking the piss out of him whenever he says downright creepy. People just keep like putting downright and then other adjectives. Someone put downright beflummoxing. <laughs> this is just downright flabbergasting. Hello. Mm. <laughs> Very gorgeous. What's that? <laughs> Very gorgeous. Oh, okay. Just like IV wires and stuff. Ooh. 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 Okay. It is only okay. after seconds that we see. I did, the, I did the Peter Kane being impressed by a thing noise. You guys know Peter G Kane, president of the Goblin Society, Gremlin Society. You know when he sees something, he goes, "Okay, I did that shit." Shadow like. F That's weird. It is only after a couple of seconds that we see a shadow-like figure zoom by. I just doubt that someone would ed- like... Edit a video of their sick kid to pretend that there's like a ghost in it. You know? So that is weird. You know what I mean? Like it could be edited, but like you you wouldn't. And also, like to be fair, how quick it is does it move? Oh, this is the replay. No, I want to see the original. It's fast. I was saying, the camera's not quite stable enough to track that very well, but it goes fast enough that actually it would be, that, that was maybe like, a, how many frames did that run? Like, how many frames? One, two, three, four, five. It, it's gone in five frames. Uh, I don't know what to say. It's weird. It's weird. That's a weird one. Could be another kid running by at that fucking speed? Who they got in this fucking hospital dash from The Incredibles? Very <laughs> gorgeous. No fucking way is a human. That's that's quick. Why is this person filming though? I don't know, man. Your kid's sick and in hospital. Like, assuming that the child has another parent, 
like sending them updates or something like there's there's like reasonable sort of like you know send them a little video for the, the family or whatever you know you got a sick kid you would you know and it doesn't seem it's and like yeah i don't know it is only after a couple people in chat like i can run that fast fuck off shut bro's like oh yeah i could lift that like they look at a fucking car like i could lift that I can run that fast. I can outrun a car. I've seen Usain Bolt run. He isn't even that quick. A couple of seconds that we see a shadow-like figure zoom by. The speed at which they travel seems to be extremely fast, which makes it seem very uncanny. Mm -hmm. But even more strange is that the figure doesn't appear to be running, but rather standing completely straight while moving at a speed beyond human capacity. The friend who caught this doubts that it was one of the nurses or anyone else in general as they are totally certain that she and her daughter had the floor to themselves. So then, if no one else had been on the floor, who or what was this? There is yet to be a clear answer- They could be using a skateboard! <laughs> it, it would explain all the things Please he said, I'll give you that. Down. Thank you, I appreciate that, Olive. You know what, I will give you that, it explains why they look like they're standing still and they're going fast. Fair enough, Healy's also would explain it. They they are completely like like that is they they were shadow dark though humans don't look like that like no human looks like that. To this question, but like with most videos, it seems that we won't know for sure until more Hoodie. evidence. Wheelchair? What? How could that be a wheelchair? Who or what? Oh, that's interesting. That actually, that they're not completely like jet black. That's like there is some coloration there. Oh, As they are even more strange, is that the figure doesn't appear to be running, but rather. Okay, but. That's a child in a wheelchair facing forwards, bro. How the fuck? Uh, bro, I'm sorry. I've never seen anyone go that quick in a fucking wheelchair. Ever. Not without someone pushing them. Watch that again. But rather... Oh, actually, wait. That, that, eh, that wasn't as fast as I thought. But rather... No, no, it is. No, actually, that is quick. Makes it seem very uncanny. But, even more strange, is that the figure doesn't appear to be running, but rather- That! No! 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 That is quick! That is some fucking pe- They've put- That is that- Like, that's the Happy Wheels wheelchair, alright? You're the wheelchair, the grandpa from fucking Happy Wheels with the fucking jet- Like, the- 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 the like, rocket engines on his wheelchair? That motherfucker can go that quick in a wheelchair! That is the only motherfucker on Earth who's ever went that quick in a wheelchair! It's the only one! Rather, standing completely straight while moving at a speed beyond human capacity. It's on a hill? Why would the hospital be on a hill? The friend who caught this doubts that it was one of the nurses or anyone else in general, as they are totally certain that she and her daughter had the floor to anyway, themselves. What the was this? There is yet to be a clear answer to this question. But like with most videos, it seems that we won't know for sure until more evidence is given. I think that's weird. I think that's weird. Filthy Frank pimped my wheelchair. Oh, right, that thing. One, that he essentially made a car, right? Like, if I remember that video well enough, didn't he essentially make wheels a car? Uh, like, maybe a car could go that fast. But you would see how big it... Whatever. Look, guys, the point is... The point is... It's the top of the hour! Tricked you. Yeah, you guys didn't think I was going to transition into that, did you? Guys, before we start the next clip, it is the top of the second hour, which means we do have to run another minute long ad. Do not worry, do not fret. I'll be straight back after the minute is done. Do not worry. It is simply one singular minute. Please, 
have a sip of water, go pee. If you're not watching on your phone, open TikTok on your phone. Scroll. Watch a couple of TikToks. The average TikTok is 15 seconds long. That means you can get in four TikToks. Four. Four whole TikToks. Come on now. Either way. Watching the ad does greatly support me and I really appreciate it. If you can't afford to sub, seriously, if you have enjoyed any of the time on this stream, any of the time you spent out of the two hours, then watching a minute worth of ads, I hopefully like to think I've earned. But if you do hate ads, for whatever reason, don't worry, they were just playing Doors IRL, someone donated by the way. That's funny because of Seek, I like that. Either way. Guys. If you would like to avoid all the ads for the next 30 days, you can subscribe for the price of 4 dollars Or by clicking subscribe right now, which I encourage every single viewer to do, you may just have the free Prime option available if you've linked your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. Meaning, meaning that you can subscribe for absolutely free and skip all the ads like everyone else without having to spend a dime. Either way, I'm going to run a minute long ad now. If you can't afford to sub, you don't have to tell me you're broke in the chat. Simply watch your ads. That's all I asked for. Anyway, I'll see you all in a second. The ad will start shortly. Well, um, the ads are now playing. Hello, everybody. I'm broke. Okay, now everyone's telling me they're broke. Yeah, you, you, all right. Never tell Twitch chat what they shouldn't say. Love this music though. I like my top of the hour ad music. I definitely didn't steal it from the Nintendo Wii Shop channel. I just, look, it feels appropriate. It feels like the time when everyone's shopping for their subs, you know? It just feels like it makes sense. Nintendo were making money when they played it and I'm making money when I play it. Ad blocker, let's go. Ban that guy, ban that guy. Get them out of here. Never say that again! Don't actually ban that guy. Um, the grass is greener on my side because I never touch it. Oh. Twitch streamers. Could have been a kid on a scooter. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think so far the videos in this one have actually been pretty convincing. The supernatural one with the with the thing in the back garden and that figure rushing past the door. I can explain neither of those. And they're a little bit creepy. I'm gonna be honest. I I I would like to have enough faith in humanity that that mother wouldn't edit a video of her own kid, meaning that I would like to think that it's a genuine occurrence. And she just believes it's paranormal, whether it is or it isn't. And I can't think of a non-paranormal explanation. Either way, welcome back from the ads, everybody. Let's get straight back into the clips. No time to waste. Pause the music. This next video was suggested they by- They put their Crocs in sports mode. Never mind. Perfect explanation. Perfect explanation. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Wheelchair kid may have heard the floor was empty and decided to have some fun with it. Not a bad explanation. Yeah, like a kid in a wheelchair wanted to play it. Like, I, I can see that. But also, like... Surely you'd hear it? The mother didn't react. It was as if she didn't spot it until she watched the video and you'd think you'd hear the sound of a wheelchair coming down the corridor. Like it would make a noise. They're not silent, you know? I also still think it was too fast. Do Caesar, anyway. who says he has no idea where this video originally came from. The source is unknown. Okay. However, after doing a bit of research, he was able to gather some info on the footage. According to Armando, the woman in this video is a house cleaner who's been cleaning an extremely old house for years. Okay. She usually comes at night to clean the place, and almost every night while being there... You delivered that line weird. You say to clean the place, but you went to clean the place, as if the place was part of the place. Like the place was like a room. Very weird. Either way, they're crystal. Think of the two different subs. She swears that she can hear voices and footsteps from the floor above, even though no one else is inside the house. Interesting. One night... The cleaning lady's friends dare her to clean the house, but with the lights off. <laughs> but you're telling me this fucking cleaning lady banter? Cleaning ladies be like jabbing each other in their arms like, Oh, I dare you to clean it, uh, clean it with the lights off. I fucking dare you. I dare you. You're telling me that shit happens? That's funny. They're like double dog dare her. That's funny. And to record whatever happens. This is such a ridiculous premise, Lamau. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she just spots something paranormal on the back of a dare. Although hesitant at first, she took the dare 
thinking it would be a great idea, as she would prove to her friends that she's not crazy, and the house is actually haunted. Okay. But no, but if you genuinely with... believe, if you gen- Right, this is what I don't say. If you genuinely have heard shit going off, and like, you want to prove it to your friends, you can just film what you experience usually, when you have the lights on. You don't have to take their dare and do it with the lights off to prove it to them. She's not Poco Loco. No, she sounds like fucking Moy Loco by the sounds of things. Fucking, uh, you think a place is haunted, so you're gonna go in there with the lights off? Eh, you know what? Sometimes I do think about the fact that like, does it turning the lights off just makes it scarier for us humans because we're like intrinsically a little bit scared of the dark because it, in it invites this sense of unknown. D do ghosts give a shit? Like, if they're gonna haunt you, I think they're gonna haunt you with the lights on or off. I don't think they give- I don't think they care, you know? I think we just feel more on edge in the dark. Like, to be honest, I'm calling her out, but if she thinks the place is haunted and still goes back every week, then having the lights off, I guess, doesn't really make a difference other than just, like, fulfilling her friend's dare. I don't think ghosts actually give a fuck. Did she know that this would be one of the biggest mistakes she's ever made? It's late Ooh. at night, the lights are off, and the woman is at this place. This is what was captured. I've had to really cool. Looks like there's a little face in the stairs. Either way. I've had to really cool there. Oh! <laughs> She's really northern. <laughs> I like this. I like this. Like, now I can imagine all these northern cleaners. Like, go on, go to that house. I bet it's, I bet it's fucking scary, right? Go to that house. Clean it with lights off. What? I've had to really cope there. Up there? It's up there. Never mind, she's from fucking Yorkshire. It's up there. It's up there stairs. Her accent makes it not scary. It actually does. It, it Was that English? I don't understand exactly what she said, but she goes, up there. That's up there. We're going to go up there. My mates have dared me to clean this house without lights on, because it's haunted. I'm going to fucking prove it to you. I'm going up there, where all this cr scary... <laughs> Funny. Huh? I like this one. Can't scare me, you bastard. I'm coming. <laughs> yes! I love northern people. Can't scare me, you bastard. I'm coming. <laughs> took her like three seconds to go upstairs at eight times speed. Hold on. What? What'd she say? Hold on. To prove that it is top up banister. Hello, Pauline, I'm shitting myself. <laughs> Sounds like there's something in that bedroom. Hello, Pauline, I'm shitting myself. <laughs> She's like referring to her friend. <laughs> this is great. This is sick. I love this. I'm on top of the top Come on, you can do it. Fuck that, fuck ah. that. She reminds me of an I want a British horror movie. This would, that would be so good. You know, I'm more convinced, and genuinely, they're more convinced this one's real because, like, it, it, it feels so authentic. It doesn't feel fate because she's reacting so genuinely because she's, like, still maintaining some level of humor whilst obviously being scared shitless and it just feels real. It feels more real than some of the ones we've watched. Oh. I can hear a noise in the background, but it is, it's in that cupboard and it is the airing cupboard. <laughs> so that's where it boiler is. And it sounds like it's just, someone's just come up at the back of me. <laughs> Door. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Bollocks! <laughs> this is great. This is great. Oi, shit! Uh, wait, wait, oi, fucking bollocks! I want to go back down now. 
I want to go back down now. Also, a hesitance to move. Right, I've just shut door. I've just shut door. Bed, I'm gonna sit on the foot. I don't move. <laughs> I don't move. Do you know if I went sh me sen? Oh! Oh! You know if I went shit in me sen? I, I want to go down. Oh, bless her. Normally, anyone who encounters something like this would flee from the house immediately, but it seems that the cleaning lady was feeling pretty brave that night. She, However, she does. If it wasn't for the following incident, brave this video would have been a lot longer. What happens next before heading downstairs has left her completely shook. I'm this the, the is what music. she caught. What you got, lass? Can you open the door for me, please. I have just seen some. I have just seen some. <laughs> I've just seen right, some. That's it. I'm off down. I can't take no more. I love how the subtitles cannot cannot get a word she's saying. Right, what did she say? I have just. It does look like some. Give her that. I have just seen some. I have just seen some. Right, that's it, I'm off down, I can't take them all. I am off frigging down. What if there's just like squatters in the house? Did any of the doors open at an angle where they couldn't have just been opened from behind and someone ran into another room? Like, what if there are just squatters if it's just a really fucking old house? A loud bang comes from one of the rooms, at which the woman points the camera and captures something by the door. It happens real fast, but if you slow the footage and pause at the right time, you can see what appears to be a palish looking figure peeking at the woman from behind the door. Eerily enough, it seems to have been standing there. Ballsy squatters. No, I agree, but the house is abandoned. Like, who's she gonna report it to? Or not abandoned, but like, no one lives in the house from what I understand? Before even pointing the camera at it, it is at this point that the woman has seen enough and decides to call it a night. Now with all that's happened in this video, one can't help but think if something paranormal had truly occurred. It is weird. If so, then the dare she took proved to be successful. Yet not much info was given on the video to prove that it's either real or fake. So it's up to you to come up with your own conclusion. Is that a microwave in that fake? bedroom by the way? So it's up to you to come- I'm trying to work that out. That doesn't look like a TV, it looks like a microwave. Come up with your own conclusion. As is often the case with videos like this, what happened that night remains a total mystery. Like, every time someone could have shoved the door and then ran. But like, yeah, what, well, I, like, I guess, because to be fair, our reactions are quite funny. And it's up north, I feel like, like, squatters would do that for a bit of a laugh. Malicious Jim, thank you for the prime. But like, also, I must admit, it is a bit weird. Like, uh, it, it, it'd take quite a fucking nimble squatter to pull that off without her noticing. For that long. Like, you know. Video, the following though. video comes from Ryan Godoy, who while using a public restroom- His surname is Godoy? Like the noise you would make if someone's being an idiot, like, Duh, Godoy! His- that's his name? His name is that? His name's Godoy! What an unfortunate name! Sure, he was- Oh, he had it rough in school, bro. He'd say something and they would be like, Godoy! Heard strange noises coming from the stall next to his. Curious as So he filmed underneath it? What if he saw someone's fucking penis? That's weird. I heard strange noises in the stall next to me. I'd just be like, oh, weird. I wouldn't fucking start filming under it like a weirdo. To who or what was making those noises, he takes out his phone to record the strange occurrence. He knew for a fact that nobody else- Fucking about to record someone's penis. G'day! Was inside the restroom. So it didn't make sense that all of a sudden, somebody was in the stall next to his. He begins to record and ends up capturing something pretty terrifying. Take a look. The fucking flush noise made me jump, fuck's sake. Yeah, this is weirder than whatever he's about to say, I'm sure. What? What did you see? Okay. 
Oh, that's weird. Without warning, the stall suddenly slams on its own. Naturally, Ryan runs away from the restroom, fearing that whatever had slammed the door is most likely capable of causing serious harm. Now, unfortunately, the video lacks enough info to determine if it's real or not. But regardless, the sudden movement of the- Okay, wait, hold on. I wanna watch that one more time. Hold on. So, my thinking right now is, is that in filming underneath the stall, he proves that there's no feet. That means when he later films the door slamming, you know no one's in the stall potentially doing it. Because he's kind of filmed a lot, he's filmed a lot of the perspective inside the stall, so you know no one's in there. But... Isn't that convenient? Like, does that not like confuse you? Like, isn't that convenient that in his video that obviously people are gonna call out for potentially being fake, the, the thing he does right before he captures something creepy happening is film at an angle that proves that it couldn't be fake? Or like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's very convenient that his first shot is a shot that kind of proves that it's empty. It feels like a magic act. It feels like the magician showing you that he can't have fucked with the box before then he pulls something out of it. You know what I mean? It feels like the magician showing you the box is empty before he then pulls like the rabbit from, like the hat's empty before pulling the rabbit out of it. Like, that's, you, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I admit, I don't know how to explain it. And it is weird. But there's a convenience that I can't help but express. You know, that's all. It's clever, but like it's it's clever, but you know, I've th this is the thing. I I really I've watched a lot of like horror videos at this point, and the thing you'll notice is like, you know, setting. It's it's very. I, I think the reason it's uh, uh, things are so easily like called out as fake is because people like. People seem to neglect, like, human behavior. I don't, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm just, I'm, I'm struggling for words. I think just, like, people, when they fake these sequences together, they, like, fail to think how people would actually act. It's probably fake, but it's not unreasonable to film and look for people. It's not. No, he could he, he, like, it's not unreasonable to film under the stores to look for someone first and then accidentally capture that. It's not. But it's just oddly convenient that that shot proved... Again, like I say, it, it runs like a magic act. He didn't wash it. I know he didn't wash his hands. It is gross. I agree. Could be someone standing on the toilet. Maybe. Without warning, the stall suddenly it's slams weird. on its own door. It's most likely capable of causing serious it's weird, harm. but... It's weird. Yeah. I'm not. I, it's not the most obviously faked one. Like, definitely not. You know, I, I. We've seen things that are very like. I can't prove to you that this is fake. I just think it's worth considering how convenient that oh, is. Unfortunately, the video lacks enough info to determine if it's real or not. But regardless, the sudden movement of the door closing is definitely scary on its own. But as always, what are your thoughts on this? Ghost or something else? More Eight often months. than not, most Picked videos a fantastic the stream to watch home alone. <laughs> You'll be fine, I'm sure. I only got a, like a, a weird ghost experience watching these videos once, you know. So, normal have very little information or not enough context, but it's usually these that tend to be the creepiest. Therefore, this next video is no exception to this notion. The following footage so takes place a inside a mine somewhere notion. in Chile. The oh, people awesome. in this video appear to be workers for a mining company, and it seems that one of the workers is filming the inside of this mine. Okay. They pan the camera all around the space. I wonder if there's any children there. I hear the children yearn for the mines. We've seen this demonstrated through Minecraft. Base, when suddenly, something very unusual is caught in the footage. With that said, be sure to look closely, as you might miss it the first time. Okay. Take a look. Alright, this is a fun little game. I like, see if we can spot it. 
I hope it doesn't big red arrow it the first time. I actually like this game. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off, you might miss that. <laughs> Fucking Slavic gentleman squatting in the corner. That was a Slav squat and a half, you see that? That's some Gopnik shit. <laughs> Fuck off. There's no, I really thought it'd be subtle and it was like the most obvious, like, in your face thing. Alright, let's watch it again. It is, I'll admit it's weird, but also like... And then pans back to find again. Out. Convenient that he, convenient that he only notices it once it goes off camera and it moves into the thing. There. No, it doesn't. You can see him get in the hole. You can literally see him go and hide in there when he pans back. Before the Watch. camera pans away and then pans back to. You see him for like a couple of frames. Watch. Like you can see him. He, there he is. And he disappears in, and then like there's no like black splodge there anymore. See, there's like a black splodge there, and it goes in. You like he, you can see him actively going in the hole. Like what? You you can watch small. him do it. Watch this again. You can what? You 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 you, you, you can see him. You can see him do it. I like I actively. Like, the thing is, he panned him off camera, and even then, he wasn't quick enough to get in the fucking hole in time. They're obvious. I'm sorry, no, it's just. That one's obviously just there's been made to freak crevice, people out. A few feet away, and just outside of it, there seems to be a small, shadowy figure resting against the wall. It is only seen momentarily before the camera pans away and then pans back to yeah, find Yeah, no, there. fuck off. The, obviously fake. Now there's plenty of theories as to what this could have been, but the most popular one seems to be the belief that this might have been a creature known as a duende, an elf-like entity with sinister intention. <laughs> you're telling me it's an evil little elf? You 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 you're meaning to convince me this is an evil a little elf? Figure resting against. It's just a squatting fella. You're telling me it's an evil elf? That's an evil little elf. A it's a gremlin. Peter Kane, can we? It's a goblin. It's a little goblin. That's uh, people are saying unironically that it's an evil little elf, like a goblin, a, 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 an elf with sinister intention. Fuck off. And as a duende, an elf-like entity with sinister intentions. That's so funny. An elf-like, an elf-like creature with sinister intentions is such a funny way to like say like a little like go goblin. It's an evil Mexican elf creature. No, I'm aware of like duendes, but like I I'm like, aware of the concept, but what? Shut up, man. Yeah, like most theories, it is not a fact, but simply It's like Santa's help has gone wrong. So whatever this was is currently unknown. But of course, you be the judge as to whether or not something paranormal was captured. What exactly was caught in this video? Yeah, it's silly. That's a silly little video. In this next video, a security guard is working the night shift at an empty facility when something fucking backrooms ass hallway. Where's this liminal space? Extremely creepy is caught on camera. The guard in this video is known as Tim Saver, and he's been working the night shift at a place that he believes is haunted. For nights at Freddy's, that's where I wanna be. For nights at Freddy's. Uh, I don't remember the lyrics. Nah. From strange noises that seemingly come out of nowhere to, evil to the odd feeling that someone else is inside the building, like the Tim guy. has plenty of reasons to explain why he films during his shift. FNAF. Now, there have been plenty of unexplainable things caught on camera, but a particular video has left many viewers unsettled. In this video, Tim hears a noise coming from a space near the sea. This is FNAF, bro! This is like FNAF sister location. Fucking the, 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 the fun time Freddy's gonna be in there. He proceeds to check out the noise, but Entered. when he gets there, 
something is captured that Tim hadn't noticed until looking back at the footage. When he saw what was caught, he was left speechless. He shit bricks. This is what he captured. When you see it, you'll shit bricks. Okay. Gregory. But Gregory, I'm a material girl. Yeah. It's just a statue. It's, it's fine. What? What? Bro, it's obviously just like a little, like, bust. It's just like a little head. Like, it's a statue. Ah! Oh, my ass! Oh, it hurts from all the bricks I'm shitting! No! Ah! I'm so scared! Oh, my butt! It hurts from the bricks! After zooming in Shut and up. brightening the footage, we can see what appears to be a hand grasping at an object inside the space. Wait, a hand? Footage. What, there's a hand? We can see what appears to be- Wait, was there a hand? I don't remember seeing the hand. The fuck is the hand? Oh! Oh, no, okay. Now I'm actually- Ah, no, I'm actually shitting bricks! The no, okay, I didn't spot that either. Fuck, that is weird. That's subtle. I'm blocking it? Oh, I literally am. My bad, I didn't realize I had chat on. My bad. Yeah, no, okay, th there's a hand, shit. Thank you for letting me know. That's weird, that is weird. It's like, look at the head, right? You can't really tell there's like a hand gripping it around like that. Because when it when he pans away and cuts back, the hand's gone. That is weird. That is weird. After zooming in and brightening the footage, we can see what appears to be a hand grasping at an object inside the space. After a few seconds, it then disappears. Tim is sure that what he captured is something paranormal. However, some viewers believe that it might have been someone hiding inside the building. Nevertheless, the I don't know where they would be hiding though. You know, like where are they? If that's their hand, that's what I'm confused about. Footage remains a mystery, but it seems that Tim will soon be posting more to explain this. Is weird. This video. For now, the question remains: Who or what was captured? If you caught. Does the shape change or is it the way the lightning bounces? Let's, let's push it again. Okay, so he pans over to it. No, that is noticeably different. Again, though, convenient how it disappears when the light gets off of it. Like, would it go? I don't know. Go, maybe, I don't know. Weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's a little bit weird. Is it thing from Wednesday? Well, I, that, that is the thing. I'm like, real or fake? Have you seen Monument Mythos? I haven't, but I do want to watch it. But what I'm, unless it's edited, like, like, like video editing. I do think it's it's weird, but it's very well tracked because it's a very shaky camera. It's very well tracked onto the head, but like I just don't understand how, like where the person's hiding. Like this beam doesn't seem big enough to hide a whole person behind it. Bearing in mind the size of the hand, it was the elf from the cave. He did have sinister intentions. That does make sense. After zooming in and brightening the footage, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Is it, it is weird. It is. It is a little bit weird. Four at gmail .com. Hard to edit that. That being said, let's get back to the video. Could be achieved by editing very easily as the hand looks like a still image. Yeah, it's very well tracked. Usually you'd see it shaking. That was a bad gesture, mate. But, um, uh, you'd like see it like. I was trying to. Like, let me. Like, so, let me. Yeah, no, I see it. Like, it is still, but it's very well tracked onto the head. Like, the camera shakes enough 
and you don't see any like weirdness with the uh, with the tracking. And it pans away. And it pans back and it's gone. I don't know, it's just very well tracked. That's all. So I'm just like impressed. Either way, let's get back to the video because we might have to ship more bricks. This last video comes from someone who works the night shift at a department store inside a mall. For some H reason, M, way, almost things. every night, strange noises are heard inside the store. Although the person who works there isn't sure what exactly is going on, a video of theirs has left viewers wondering if the store might be dealing with something paranormal. It's close to midnight, the employee is all alone, and the following is caught on camera. This is what was captured. Okay. What's going on guys? Making a video. It's been a couple of days since I made the last one. I'm feeling good. That was Yo! Hello! Straight off the bat, fucking hell. Didn't even let him finish his fucking intro. That's how you know it's real. Usually if it was if it was fake, it'd go oh intro God, and then behind me. The fuck? Out of nowhere, a small silhouette. The fuck? A little baby? Appears to be a child what? That stands right behind the employee. <laughs> now, because the video ends abruptly, the fucking the, 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 the fucking elf with sinister intentions is back for a third video. It's hard to be sure if what was caught is actual paranormal evidence, but whether paranormal or not, there is no doubting that the sudden appearance of the small figure is creepy. The alone. fuck? As always, what are your thoughts on this paranormal? That scared the fuck out of me. I was not expecting like uh, like. Little baby, little baby man, not. look at the prime. I wanna watch that again. So there's a noise. That was... Yo! Hello? What the f*** is going on? He does react quite late to that bang, I must admit. What the f*** is going on? Like, one, two, like almost two seconds me. before, and then the video just cuts. Why would you cut the? But why would but also? Why would you, you cut the video view, there? Wouldn't it make sense for the absence of light to disrupt things, like holograms or something? IDK, if ghosts can manipulate the physical, bending light to make things appear would explain a lot. Confused by that, I don't quite get what you're trying to explain. Like, I, I obviously made a point that you're trying to like, like play off of, but I don't, I don't remember the point, so I apologize. I'm sure you make some sense. Why does the video just end there, it. though? Like... Alright, I want to... Want... Alright, more... Is the tracking good? It sounds perfectly still. It could be a mannequin. I think if you've got a friend in there. It just feels too good to be true again, I don't know. Out of nowhere, a small silhouette of what... It's weird. It's weird. Either way, that's all the videos for this compilation. This one was better. That first one, uh, that well, first one was just like silly goofy friend in the fucking exorcist pose. Understand? Silly goofy. This one's weird. This lady's this lady's house is fucking weird. I've always said that. This lady's house freaks me out. Like, it, star of the sea. Thank you for the tier one. This lady's house is weird with the dogs and stuff. She she's the most convincing from today. This is weird as well. The weird like figure rushing past the door with a little girl. Also weird. These two, I'm, I'm, I can't explain. Bit creeped out. This one's honestly kind of creepy as well with the, with the, the funny northern lady. Who shit in a sen? Quite funny, but also quite scary. The only other explanation I can think of is squatters. So like, and I, I they, they're, they're some fucking nimble squatters. So like, honestly, these three have got me kind of scared. This one just feels a little bit too good to be true. Uh, the mine is fucking pathetic, pathetic excuse. Uh, this is weird. This is weird. I'm not particularly convinced, but it's weird. And this I'm pretty sure is fake, but it's a, it, it's cool. I like it. I like the fucking evil baby. It's cool. It's cool. The least interesting one out of the whole lot. Well, no, th th this one is the, the by far the worst. The fucking squatting little elf. Sinister little elf. And then it's this. And then I'd say this one's the one, I, the hand one, I'm not too, like, it's weird, but eh. The baby one, probably more likely, actually, no, then probably the restroom, 
then the hand, then the baby, uh, then the haunted house, then the ba- the, the the sick baby, and then this. I think that's my ranking of like which ones I'm most convinced by. I think there's a little bit of bias in there though for the baby because I, I just quite like the video. That's where we're at. I think that's where we're at. Either way, people. <laughs> Take care, guys. I'll see you all soon. Bye! Oh, wait. Okay, wait, no, hold on. Sorry, the raid's gonna take a second. All right now. 